Hi, this is Kavita Suresh Kumar and in this video I am going to demonstrate how to create and delete Azure Function app using Terraform. I have logged into my Azure portal. Let's see whether any Function app already exists in my account. No Function app exists. Since we are going to create the uh, Function app using the Terraform, let us review the Terraform documentation. I am going to create a Linux function app. So I am referring the documentation for the Linux function app. So we need to give the provider information and then we need to create a resource group, storage account, service plan and the Linux function app. Let's get started. I am going to use the Visual Studio code editor for adding my Terraform configuration files. Already I have a providers.tf file created where I have added the information related to the provider. So I want the HashiCorp Azure RM provider which is of version 3.51.0 and then here as part of the provider I have added the necessary credentials. These informations will be used by Terraform to connect to Azure and create the necessary resources. You can refer to my previous video on creating a service principle on how to register an app and generate all these necessary credentials. Now I'm going to add a new file in.tf where I'm going to create all the necessary resource blocks. So Terraform expects a .tf extension for all the Terraform configuration files. So first I'm going to add the resource which is the resource group. resource group. Then we will give the name for this as function group. So we need to provide the name. Let's give the name as function group and then we need to give a location. So location I am going to give us east US. Okay so we have added the resource block for the resource group. So next is we need to add the resource for the storage group. storage account we'll call it as let's give the name so this name has to be unique so we'll give some numbers and then again the location so the location we want it to be the same as where for the resource group so we need to give the resource group name we need to give the account information account tire which is going to be standard and then we need to give the account replication type which is going to be LRS okay so now we have added the resource block for storage account also so now let us add it for the service plan Let's give the name. So we need to give the location. So again, we'll use the resource group location. Then we need to give the resource group name. Name. Now we need to give the OS type. This type is going to be Linux. And then we need to give the SKU name. So which is going to be Y1. Okay, so now we have added the resource block for the app service plan also. So now let us add the resource, our main resource function app. Linux. Linux function app. Okay, so we will give it as a name as font app. Okay, we need to give a name. this is again we need to give a unique name location again same resource group location will use then the resource group name name then you give the storage account name this is storage account dot name then you need to give the storage account access key 
is going to be the primary access key and then we need to give the service plan id which is going to be the service plan dot id then we need to give the site config okay so we have added all the necessary resource blocks for creating the linux function app we have created the resource we have added the block for resource group storage account service plan and then the linux function app okay so we are good to go let's save the changes now let's do a terraform in it it is finding the plugin and now it is installing the hashicorp azure rm version 3.51.0 plus so terraform in it is successful now let us do a terraform format to format the files so it has formatted the main.tf file so now let's do a terraform validate to validate the configuration yeah the configuration is valid now let's execute a terraform plan the terraform uses the terraform tf state file where it stores all the information about the existing environment and whenever there is a new request comes it compares the configuration with the existing uh, environment configuration and then it creates a plan the terraform plan actually creates an execution plan it provides the information on what all the resources will be created what all will be deleted or modified when we apply a terraform apply command here you can see it is going to create the function app and then it is going to create the resource group service plan as well as the storage account plan it says it is going to add four resources okay now let us do a terraform apply the terraform apply also creates the execution plan and then it asks for the approval whether we wanted to apply all the changes let's provide the approval yes it is creating the resource group the resource group has been successfully created so now it is creating the service plan and the storage account so it has successfully created the service plan it has successfully created the storage account and now it's creating the linux function app so it has successfully created the function app also so you can see that it says four resources added okay so now let us try and deploy a small function to this function app click azure so here you'll be able to see the function app what we created yes you can see the function app it is here so let's create a simple http trigger template create a function click so we'll say that okay this is the folder where we want this project to be added we'll use it as a python and we will use 3.10.11 and we'll use the http trigger so again we will give it as a name as uh, Git demo click enter we'll use anonymous so anybody will be able to access this api so it is successfully finished creating a project let's go to the explorer this is a very simple basic python code right so it expects name as a parameter the name can be provided either using as a query parameter or you can provide it as part of the json body right so when you provide that so it is going to give hello and call the name right so we can change the parameter instead of giving us a name we can we'll call it as a customer here also we'll change it to customer and here we can use it as name because it is like again we are getting the value as to the the customer right this we will change welcome we'll just change it to welcome okay so we have done the changes to the python module okay now let's deploy this to the function select the function app select deploy so now it is deploying the function to the function app okay so the deployment of the function app is completed click the output yeah we can see the output so this is the api let's copy this api
okay uh, so the one mistake what i did is i did the cha changes but i forgot to save it so that's why we are seeing the same old information anyway now let's pass under the parameter again we'll give the name as okay so it is telling hello kavita this is http triggered function executed successfully okay so now let us review all these app everything in the azure portal okay so let's refresh so we could see the new app which we created using terraform we could see it in the portal right and this is the url so this is what we try to access it so click functions right you can see the function what we created demo function right so if you want to, to test it as part of the azure portal you can do that click code plus test okay so we can see the code okay because this is the code which was got deployed so you can see that here then you can click test run right so here you can give the information as to JSON and body because we have the post method right so we'll give the name click run and we could see the same message okay so now we have seen how to create a function app using the terraform now we will see how to delete all the resources what we created as part of creating the function app using terraform destroy okay let's go to the terminal it's called terraform destroy as i mentioned terraform uses the terraform tf state file where it has the information about all the existing environment configuration so now it is going to compare that with the configuration what we have given in the existing environment we have four resources created as part of the creation of azure function app as expected so terraform destroy also has created the execution plan so where it clearly indicates it is going to destroy delete all the resources this minus sign indicates it's going to delete the resource right and the plan can say it is going to destroy four resources it's asking for the approval let's provide the approval it is deleting the Linux function map so now it is destroyed it has successfully deleted the function app now it is destroying the service plan and the storage account so it has successfully deleted the service plan and the storage account and it is now destroying the resource group so it has successfully destroyed all the four resources now let's go and validate that in the azure port click all resources so we could see all of the resources have been successfully deleted in this video we have seen how to create azure function app using terraform and then how to deploy a function to the created azure function app and test the APIs as well as how to delete the resources created as part of the Azure function app and the Azure function app using Terraform. If you like this video, do like, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching the demo.